it's great to have you back on the podcast again. How are you doing? I'm really well. Thank you for having me. No, no, you're welcome. You're welcome. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm grateful, you know, to have you as a friend and grateful to have on the podcast. And, you know, I'm wearing, I'm wearing the, uh, you know, the, the bracelet you made and, you know, I wear them, you know, every day. And, you know, you know, anybody watching this should definitely, you know, check out, you know, the work that you do because, you, you know, you make some really, you know, beautiful um, marlas, bracelets, necklaces and, and, and much more. Um, and as well, like, I thought I'd kind of touch base on, like, you know, where you're at, you know, right now and kind of the current situation, things like that. Definitely. We um, have two markets open right now. We have a downtown market that, unfortunately, uh, closed. We didn't have enough interest. It was a Saturday, Sunday event in downtown Gasland, which is really amazing. We had people come from all over, so we're hoping that we'll start up again. But um, my Tuesday and Thursday market, the community that comes out, they really are um, a small based community and they have shown up several times for all vendors and it's been a really a wonderful to try to have a safe environment but yet have a sense of community so I think we've done that really good in San Diego and as well as trying to keep it safe you know just keep it light too I think there's so much heaviness going on and I think it's so great to see people like oh my god I didn't know what was going on I'm so glad you're here you know thanks for providing this for us a sense of being able to come out of our house uh, to a safe environment and enjoy that community. So I'm really, really grateful to have that opportunity for sure. Mm. No, that's it. And I think like, you know, from your content that you put out, like you, you know, your store is like really amazing. Like for people who haven't tuned into our episodes or haven't um, kind of seen like your work, you basically, you know, you make all these Marlers and bracelets and, and and all kinds of accessories, don't you? From our, you know, with beads and different crystals, you know, earrings, and you basically set up these stalls um, in parts of LA. I mean, and, and they're really amazing. And like you said, you've been kind of like trying to tactically kind of place your stores in certain places and try and have that community. Like where where um, so people because I have a lot of people who listen in I think LA. And, and, yeah. and America like where is it that you're situated where people could find like your um, stores where where is it that you kind of do well, the markets on, on Tuesdays we're in Otay Ranch and that's a Chula Vista community and that's a farmer's market and that's an Otay Ranch mall on Tuesdays from three to seven and then in Ocean Beach that's our bigger event that's on Wednesdays from four to eight and that's on Newport and Bacon and that's a really great event there's fresh fruit flowers vegetables farmers from all over the county uh, artisans people that make homemade things to crafts to all kinds of different stuff products from the community stores that are out and about pet products so it's a really um, just a great event and we're really trying to build it back as well as keep it a safe uh, distance and a safe environment for everybody to come out because mm. I know people are craving that humanality, that community, and I see it every day that when we are out there, what gratitude people have for just us being there. So it's been a great journey. It's been um, wonderful things have come out of it. Like you say, I'm able to make things from scratch um, and purchase different stones and different materials from my local um, bead shops as well to keep small business I think going as well uh, so mm -hmm. I love what I do and I think um, each piece has a story I'm all about unique and not having a hot um, a, uh, I want one of a kind I want somebody to have something different every time they come and to to put a lot of thought behind it as as well as mantras I love putting uh, you know, breath in each each piece and a, and a mantra. I usually do love and wellness, but if I do a custom piece, I do their mantra. So mm. to have the community reach out uh, in parts where you didn't think it was going to be plentiful, I've had people reach out and it's such a joy to interact that way. It makes you really understand that there is a need for that. There is a need for wellness and spirituality and a connection and small things that bring you joy. It doesn't mm. have to be a dream thing, I think. And I think that we touched on that um, off camera about even though you can't do what you love, being able to replace that time or that energy with something else that is positive. Um, mm. Because I think so, so, so many times when I found myself doing it where you try to escape into it and yet you don't have that balance. So I'm yeah. really trying to find that as well. Yeah, no, definitely. And I think, like you said, it's nice that you kind of, you know, you want to 
make each one like very very different and unique and you like you know set to that person and that kind of uh that uh is it mantra you mentioned you know with 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 peace to that person as well yes i love well i love that um it, it makes the person think about what it is they want to bring to themselves so mm. like like your mom like when i do each bead you know that love and wellness or bringing that sense of peace or that strength um, I think when you look down or you wear it and then you infuse your own mantra with it, whatever it is that you're seeking in your life or feel that you have a deficit in that you want to attract. And it could be simple as courage or just being present. Uh, so whatever it is that you need in your life and to be able to wear that and magnify it as you, or intensify it as you, you know, meditate or become close to it. I think it's something that you can have with you all the time that, um, that you can look down upon and and mm. and and find a little bit, I guess, of that courage. And maybe maybe it's something that I put too much into, but I think it's the little things that can carry you through those those moments, you know, mm. as well as things, you know, in life. Because there is so much going on, and I think we have to really have that mindset of positivity. If not, it can you can just marinate in it, you know. So mm. find that, those little joys. Yeah, no, no, exactly, and I, I agree with you. And I think, like you know, like when I look at mine you know, it, I, I think about it and I'm like, you know, you have put your, you know, your time into it. It's not like, you know, you've just got a bracelet and just made it, you know, like a lot's gone on, gone into that. And I'm, I'm grateful for that. And, you know, you give 110% is the way that you do. And I, you know, I've not seen anything, anything else like it really. And I think like you said, with, with everything happening in, in the world, people need that, that, balance and that that's something to keep them grounded and i think you know like through you know you use lots of different crystals and stones and beads and you know like i uh, mentioned uh, like tiger eye and quartz mm -hmm. and all of these you know like crystals and beads have all got uh, you know a lot of healing properties and you know for people's yep. energy as well like, okay, like do you yeah, put like a lot of work into that to you know see which work especially like moonstone moonstone is a very um feminine yet can be masculine as well it's new new beginnings intuition those kind of things and i think if you're attracting those kind of things and then you wear them as well as it being pretty it or or a good looking piece i think that it, it's it's even better but each property or each crystal has a healing property and attribute and then there's also what's called positioning so when you do reiki sessions they actually place certain um crystals on your chakras and so that's when you look at something in a book that uh, you're trying to define the healing property of a stone, the, you're looking for the healing and the attributes of that crystal. And then when you say positioning, that's only when it's actually placed on your body. Um, and there are so many things that I think resonate with people that that's another thing that people find joy in because they're like, oh, that's me. Or I'm looking for that. When you read those descriptions to those people, and it's, and it could be like, oh my God, like, how did she know? Or how did I, how did I pick up this one crystal that each time I go back to, cause my eye or my spirit wants to pick it up. And then you read what it actually means. So a lot of people are attracted to stones that they might not know the reason why, or they pick it up even as well as it being, you know, uh, attractive or pretty to them. So I think that's a really cool piece of it as well. And then to pair certain crystals that have that strength that grow together or your certain chakras or whatnot. Mm. So I, it's, it's been a really a journey for me as well, learning mm. different um, properties and different stones or new stones, um, mm. which is really cool. Like the super seven one that um, your, your mama will get. It's, yeah. it's a really cool thing to discover those and, and share that with people as well. And, and I am by no means a master at it at all still learning. And when people come up and they, you know, describe certain things or I enlighten them or they enlighten me, it's a, been a, that's, I mean, it's been a real joy at learning at this business as well. And I think as long as we're all open to learning um, and growing as a business, and I think not putting too much pressure, I find myself in this time, not, I feel like time is against me for some reason. And we have so much time, so much time, I'm so young mm. and I'm not so much to do yet. And I think um, putting that added pressure on you can change your creativity as well instead of that of things. So I've noticed that as well. Like you almost like pinch it, like you're too tense. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I agree. I think like you said, you know, with, with the stones that you use and the beads and that each kind of like, you know, crystal, like you said, people... You know, like different people are probably going to be diff 
are going to be drawn differently, you know, to certain beads or stones and crystals, if that makes sense. And yes, you yeah, probably yeah, you probably connect to people and, and probably get, I don't know, pick up on their vibe and then think, oh, this one's going to, which do you pick on their vibe and think, oh, this is going to suit you? Like I do, I do. I think I also, um, I think I was sharing this last time where I didn't realize it, but when you're around a lot of stones or a lot of emotion or things that people are trying to heal or um, searching for, I find myself, uh, it weighs heavy on me, especially um, when I see people of sadness. I really want to bring a sense of joy to them. And I'll really think moments of what it is that that crystal can do for them. You know, mm. if I enlighten them a little bit, like maybe you need this in your life or have you, did you hear about this or this is what this can do or certain things. So that has been um, interesting to connect with people on as well. Cause sometimes it can be negative. Sometimes it can be really positive, but I have seen people um, in the beginning where it's almost like they couldn't even speak. They were so saddened. And that was really hard to um, pick up on. And it's, it's almost like they just want to be like, okay, okay, I'm all done. And she would back away. And then she was with a group of people and they almost like stood behind her, like a little hug, you know what I mean? Like hug. It's, it was very interesting to watch it unfold organically. But I ended wow. up making a And um, even though she wasn't as communicative as other people would probably had wished or in my position, but I think letting people do what they can at that moment, what they're capable of doing. And, and it was interesting to watch her evolve in a small way, in her own way, in her own time. So I love what wow. you know, those are beautiful. Yeah, it's really powerful, isn't it? When you, when you put it like that and how, and how deep and meaningful, you know, people connect um, with, with, you know, like marlers and certain stones and the work that you do. And I think as well, you know, how, how much people kind of need them, and how, you know, they, they can really benefit through, you know, things like this. Because mm -hmm. there's, mm -hmm. there's that, there's that, then there's that connection with yourself and, you know, the work and energy that you put into it as well on top of that. Definitely. And I think we touched on this last time we spoke, but, um, not knowing what it took for somebody to show up that day or, you know, put that face on. And if that's something that a mala or a bracelet or, you know, a nice cozy sweater helps them do, then that's something that I think you should do for yourself. And that self-care and that self um, understanding of when you are in those moments, like you touched on that balance in life. What is it, what is that makes you balanced or what is that brings you joy mm. in life? Uh, and I just think it's ever evolving. You know what I mean? Yeah. You, you have like who you surround yourself with. Um, I took something from Gary Vee and it, it touches me with my son. He is 14 and I know you have a younger brother um, of, of listening to your parents, but at the same time, like cutting those negative people out. But I'm kind of in a quandary because you're trying to teach them what it means to be a whole person in life or to have those certain things in life. Like you were saying, what brings you joy outside of, you know, yourself, you know, doing things for others. Can you find joy in that? So it, it's uh, it's definitely everybody's a learning process, you know. Yeah, yeah, not definitely. And I, I, you know, I found it really, you know, inspiring the fact that, you know, you're you're doing something that you enjoy and you have a passion for, and then you know you're, like you said, you're you're, you're marketing that you're you know you're trying to, you like you said you're still learning along the way, um, in what you're doing and and you're open about that, and mm -hmm. you know you're 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 pursuing something and building something. And, you know, I, I think like, you know, with your kids and people, it, it, you know, they're going to see that and then realize, you know, like they can, they can do a job or something and, and then do X, Y, Z alongside and just kind of figure it For out. Sure. And, and you mentioned like time earlier as well, like, you know, we can kind of rush to try and get things done and we worry about time. And like you said, we have time. And I think it's something that I kind of, you know, can relate to because I'm like, oh, I need to be doing xyz amount of things or i need to get you know this content out and right, especially right, right. I, I think especially around january time we think oh it's the new year you know we need to do da, 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 da. yeah and i think like you say not rushing things i'm trying to teach myself like, you can have you can do 15 different things but how well did you do them mm -hmm. you know if you can't do one or two things well or complete the task from point a to point b and he it's almost like you know we sit in judgment of ourselves and i'm guilty of it too but there's a difference between doing something correctly and doing something 
ogre, I, you know, in my opinion, I guess, you know, because you can't half finish it. You have to do the same drive for yourself as you would for others in life. And I think that that should mm. have you touched on Gary Vee, you know, doing something because you love it. I would do it for free. I would give every mm. piece away that I had. And as a business owner, and I'm okay with that. And I'm trying to build a business, trying to build a brand in a shape around it though i don't want to just throw it up there you know mm. I, I want it to stand for something i want it to resonate something and i really this year i hope to find my um what do you call it your mission statement i really mm. would love to define and put words around what it is that i feel or that i create uh somebody one of my friends was telling me she's like i'm not a jewelry person and she goes but when i see your pieces it really makes me want to wear them because they either tell a story or they bring joy. And that really makes me, I mean, it just brings really joy to my heart. It's better than money. Mm. And, so, and I just want to create that and build up that. <laughs> yeah. Life. Yeah, no, exactly. And it's that value that you're providing through what you do. And it's really impactful when you get that feedback and someone gives you, you know, the feedback on what it is that you're doing. It's really positive and really powerful. And I think like you said, if you're, you know, you're doing it for free and you're happy to do it for free. And that's like, you know, your passion. And I think, you know, eventually that, that money will kind of come with it. And I think if, when you've not got your, the money is the main driving force, I think it's, it's completely different um, process, isn't it? It's, it's a different, it's a different, yeah, it, it, it's different from for that energy that goes into it. If you're just doing something for the money mm -hmm. and, you know, if you're passionate about it and you're willing to just do it, it's, it's a different driving force, isn't it? Definitely. I had um, over the Christmas holiday, you know, I really didn't have a lot of expectation. I know people are struggling and just to have people out and, and be part of our event was really a treat in itself because I just didn't have any expectation. And I had so many people come back that had bought pieces from me, especially this one woman that came by and she came with another gentleman uh, and she goes, I don't know if you remember me, but this has been like a year and a half ago. And she goes, I was in a really dark place. And you were really kind to me. And it was something to do with domestic violence, I remember. And she was not in a good space. Uh, I was mm. really sad. And um, she was looking at a piece. And I was like, I really hope that brings you joy. I'd love to give that to you. And she mm. came back um, right after, right before Christmas. And she explained that to me. And she goes, I just wanted to come by and say hi. And I said, I really am glad that you did, you know. And yeah. we had that conversation. And as they were leaving, the person that she was with, looked at one of the malas and he's like, I'll take this. And it was one of the only sales I had that day, but it, you know, and it didn't matter because the story was so much more mm. powerful and yet to touch two people, you know what I mean? That mm. that piece would go to him and hopefully bring him joy. So it was yeah. a really interesting uh, full circle moment. And I had a lot of those over the holiday uh, where wow. you plant seeds. And I think that your kindness um, at, with zero expectation can mm make its way around whether it be for you your family or how however it may touch you in a positive way mm. so i think that's so important to be yeah. kind you never know who is watching or who who you've touched you know and how mm. it affected yeah so. no no i completely agree and that is powerful isn't it and um sorry let me just i'm, I'm listening my dog just moving around okay. give me two two seconds yeah. He can't make up his mind. Um, he's moving around the bed. Um, but, yeah. <laughs> and, um, but yeah, no, I totally agree with what you said. And I think it's powerful in what you said because it's like, you know, you had one sale, but like you could have all that impact that you're putting out there and um, providing value to other people. And, you know, like you said, you don't know what other people are going through and how much of a difference or a shift that's going to have. Mm -hmm. on their on their life For and sure. you know that that you know kind of outweighs kind of everything else doesn't it it and, does well I mean, just, you know five minutes of your time to say i see you you know what i mean or to mm. listen to somebody and sometimes you know i find that i have certain friends that i know i can lean on and i told my friend the other day i said gosh i feel like i'm frustrated when i speak with you or i feel more com comfortable that i can you relate to me on that level but yet it, I had to apologize because I, I just came really aggressive and like kind of did the dump and you're just like oh you know and you don't realize sometimes but I think sometimes 
you need that person. It could be a stranger. It could be a friend that you always do that with, but always touching in, you know what I mean? Thank you. I appreciate mm. you. you. Um, but I also know that you're worth more than just me dumping on you. You know what I mean? Or that, that you bring more value to me than just that. Um, and she goes, I appreciate that. She goes, it's nice to, to know that, you know, I can provide that positivity yet also, you know, take that, um, reactionary, you know, from you as well. Mm. So I think not, like you say, you never know who you're going to affect and how, um, mm. they resonate with people. So I, I love yeah. that. I love my job and I love that it's not really a job at all, that every day that I come, I'm going to meet somebody new or somebody that I am hopeful that I bring joy to in a small way, as well as trying mm. to learn as a business owner. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's it. And, and you're doing all these different things as well. And it's, it's so powerful, as you mentioned, because like you said, it's, you know, you don't know what people are going through and you're providing value and there's, there's so much like depth in what you do. And as well, it, it's like that abundance, isn't it? And, you know, what you give out, you get back. And yeah. okay, you might, you know, you might say, talk to somebody about, you know, things that are going on, but, you know, they're there for you. And, you know, if, if something's going on with them, then, you know, they can touch base with you kind of thing. I think. For sure, for sure. I, I think since friend, COVID, yeah. Yeah, my one friend, her whole family got COVID. And so I used to be her son's, um, uh, one of his assistants in his classroom. And um, I love him. And every morning I would try to give him a hug and I know him this year, I know him this year. And he, and so for me, I have a huge connection with their entire family. Well, their entire family got COVID and the struggle that they're going with, they're both in the hospital. Um, one's a hand therapist, one's a massage, you know, all this stuff in the hospital. And so to bring it home to their three kids, her mom is elderly, you know, in her seventies. And so to say, you know what, I see you. And she loves the, you know, she loves uh, her Lord and, going to church and stuff. And so I had this perfect cross and um, my daughter goes, Oh my God, CD would love that. That would bring her such joy. And so to know that she's been struggling and to have pop something in the mail, that's so simple, you know what I mean? It's going that I know when she opens it, it's going to bring her such joy and be like, Oh, that's some, you know, some, something that she hasn't seen in a while, I guess, you know, and I know other things in her life bring her joy. I'm not saying that my gift is going to be the be all and end all, but I think when you can recognize that and just those small handwritten card or a hug or, I mean, a fist bump now, I guess, with COVID, <laughs> you know, I just think being able to, to do with what's in your power, you know. Yeah, that's it. And I think it's really nice that, that you know, you, you care, you know, you care about other people and, you know, you have a huge amount of empathy for other people and how they feel and, you know, it's really nice to hear, you know, that you, you care and you're, you know, you're wanting to make a difference and you're wanting to provide value. And it just shows you, like you said, um, these, you know, pe people are, are needing, you know, social interaction and, and needing something, you know, just kind of keep them going in those times. Yeah, and, for sure. You, you know, and, and you know those people and you're going out your own way to to do these things to help them yeah and i think it's something that's just such a small um uh piece too it's not it's not yeah. really extraordinary you know what i mean we're able mm. to provide certain things in a way that resonates with people and yet it's a small thing you know a small thing yeah that yeah we yeah, do. yeah. So, that's yeah. it that's exactly. something but um yeah, I mean, have you got to shoot now? Are you okay for time? Do you need to let you? I do, yeah. So I'm, I'm just going to, as yeah. we chat after that, yeah. Yeah, that's cool. But um, but yeah, I just thought, you know, I'd say, you know, all the best in, you know, everything that you're doing. And I'll, I'll continue to share your content. And, um, you know, I, lo I love what you do. And I think, you know, it's 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 just a matter of time, you know, till, till um, things kind of peak, you know, with what you're doing. And, it, you know, it's yeah. it's doing well now. But, you know, I, I see, you know, big things for you and in, in what you're doing. I think it's so cool to see. I, I appreciate that. I think it's so neat to see a business evolve or me as a person. And I've grown, I think, a lot. And there's so many ways multifaceted, I think, to being um, a small business owner. But I don't mm. even think I've scratched the surface. I think if I could ask Gary V one thing, it's, it's I feel like spinning your wheels sometimes and the things like uh, you're not good at. Um, I, I need that direction, I think, and that motivation mm. on where I can spend my time, especially business-wise, because my one friend said, it's not that you can't create, 
you know, mm-hmm. and I think the difference being able to have a product, you know what I mean? And then being able to grow as a business person versus having a mediocre product and being an epic marketer or having mm-hmm. all the money to drop your business. I mean, to grow your business versus yeah, yeah. dropping your business. So I think I have so much more and I can't wait, you know, to, to touch base with you along the way and to see yeah, how yeah. far each of us has, has grown. I think too, yeah. as, like you say, as you're building you know, more and more each day. So I am yeah. so grateful for you as well. No, no, you too, you too. And, you know, it's, it's a pleasure to, to do, be able to do this. Um, you know, I'm really grateful to have you as a friend and, um, you know, it really means a lot to me, you know, you know that we can touch base and do this. And I'm, I'm, I'm really grateful. Definitely. Thank you so much. I so appreciate no. it. No, no, you're welcome. But I hope all the, all the best for today and uh, all the best. Thank you so much. And, and, and as well, and as well, where, where can people find you on, on social media as well? Like on social media, it's a Jerry Young Designs. That's my Instagram, uh, Jerry Young um, or www.jerryyoungdesigns.etsy. Not everything you see will be up there on my Etsy site, but everything on my Instagram, you can DM me, um, and you can also, um, you know, just uh, comment on a, a post that you dig. And we can create something from there. So yeah, so uh, Facebook as well. It's uh, Jerry Young Designs as well. Oh, awesome, awesome. <laughs> but no, I'll definitely share your content in the uh, bio and everything. And um, yeah, no, I look, I look forward to awesome. next time. Awesome, thank you so much, Adam. Yeah. I'll talk to you later. You're welcome. You take care. Bye. Bye, bye, bye.